And now for us too, it's me again. Here with a brief progress update and the showing off of a few purchases. One of those purchases being cross stitch related. There would have been more than one cross stitch related purchase being shown off. However, the other purchases were patterns and I haven't downloaded them from my Etsy purchase list yet. Thus, no cover photos and as you know, copyright. <laughs> so. I'd rather not show them without the cover folds. Anyway, but yay to the designers, they're really nice. What I will say is those patterns, one is a set of summer bookmarks, the other one is a new pattern they just released the other day, and that is a little selection of jam pots, and it has Happy Summer, I believe, written, like different letters on each pot to read out Happy Summer. So I thought that looked good. Anyway, my progress. <laughs> it's the Lego for Community Garden. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got my badge on because I'm supposed to be up there today, but I took the afternoon off because I was needed at home for stuff. Anyway, it's going to be awkward to see because of where I am. I'm on the final page of the top row and mostly working on white. <laughs> so, got some brown in there, including the letter C. But predominantly it's white, so even with trying to work at positioning, I apologise if it's not viewable properly. But I'm working on this section here. And hopefully, I don't know how well this might show up, but the bit I'm working on is from the R in Inver and the C in Cheating, which is Inver Keating, two words, because <laughs> it being Gaelic. But I'm working on the top corner, <laughs> if that helps. So, yeah. I'll show you by the badge, but I'm sitting too far away. <laughs> but yeah, that's my progress in terms of cross stitch. It would have been done. I would have actually been on the next row. But I get too distracted very easily when it comes to video games and videos on video games, like YouTube videos, like playthroughs and stuff. So, yeah, that didn't get finished. <laughs> it's been finished well over a week ago, if not more. So, yeah. Anyway, my onto my purchases. And as I said, unfortunately I can't show the patterns because not downloaded them, so no cover pages. However, the other cross stitch related purchase I made was a couple of vinyl stickers. Because they looked really cute. They're characters from the Pokemon video game franchise, and specifically to the Pokemon themselves. One of them is the uh, mascot Pikachu, cross stitching. And the other one is one of the counterparts of Pikachu, a fox called Eevee. Also cross stitching. As you can see, it's on all fours, therefore it has to use its teeth. <laughs> but hey, where there's a well, there's a way. Just be careful, folk, if you want the stitches in your teeth, mind you don't swallow needles and you don't stab yourself. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I think that's a good sort of disability promotion one, you know. They might not have fully functioning limbs or you know, adequate usage in terms of availability, but you can always have where, you know, do something. <laughs> anyway, the other thing, which is, well, it's in a sense Pokemon related, but not, but the other thing, or a couple of things, is my Switch here, my game console, that joystick broke. Well, it just didn't work properly, so I replaced it. However, I didn't seal it properly. <laughs> it won't shut properly. I can still use it at times, but I'm better off plugging it in and using the controller. I don't know if that showed up well, because it is, but there's a the controller. <laughs> More Pokemon. <laughs> just like this. It's got pictures of Pikachu and Eevee on the back. All good to see, but yeah. Even the colours are Pikachu and Eevee. But because that controller I didn't do a very good job of putting it back, you know, closing it, and in fact when my stepdad and I tried sorting out the controller, we kind of broke some of the connectors on the inside. So although yes, it does work, the wires don't always stay in place. So yeah, I got a replacement. This can be only used if you're holding it in like the handheld mode there. And unfortunately, they only come on the left side. You don't get one for the right side. I get that, yeah, the left side is more likely to break than the right side because of using 
the control stick for movement and stuff. But it'd be nice if they gave you both sides. Anyway, <laughs> it's a Super Mario Brothers themed one. Apparently there was pull on theme ones and stuff, but it doesn't matter. I think that's look cool. But it is my replacement control. <laughs> It's, got, it's nice and red, it's got text and that on it. So, yeah, again, they don't have one on the right, which is a shame because it would be nice to have a pair of them. But yeah, I had to get a replacement. And speaking of said console, <laughs> I actually got the handheld version that was released the other, like, a couple of years back, apparently. And it's the portable one. <laughs> I got the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> like the coral pink one, which I think looks good. Here's the actual console outside its box. Oops, upside down. <laughs> there you go. There it is outside its box. <laughs> I have living in Scotland. I got the UK, well, the PAL version specifically UK, because our adapter is different to Europe and the US. We've got three prongs on it, not two. <sighs> So sometimes, not always, but sometimes you get regional locking on stuff. So I got a region one. I got a carry case come with it because it was actually a bundle. And obviously, to get that extra bit of space for games, I got an extra memory card. Well, just got a memory card for it, which I paid about a pound extra to get this adapter for if I need to transfer pictures or whatever to the computer. Oh, speaking of bundles with that little game system. And this is a quick note to Cheryl McKinney, Tranquil Stitches, aka the other McKinney here in Flostoop. <laughs> Bar that one system, <laughs> maybe a couple of, no there were others that had different bundles. Every single Switch Lite came bundled with Animal Crossing. And as much as I enjoy watching other people play the game, it's not the sort of thing I'm interested in playing myself. So I just got the one without the bundle. The others, I think it was just fighting games or whatever. <laughs> or racing games with the bundles. It's like, nah, I'm not interested in them. So I just got the one on its own. It's mostly for just, you know, where it's mostly playing my games out and about. I can just, you know, where I've got the carry case, I can take cartridges with me or things that I've purchased on the eShop, like downloadable copies of the games. I can just put them on it. <laughs> See, it's like hassle and stuff. That's the whole point of getting it. But yeah, unfortunately, yes, I've seen people play Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch, <laughs> but just not my cup of tea. <laughs> Animal Crossing series does look good, but just not my thing. Oh, and speaking of the main bigger console, the actual dock that you'd slot it into when you plug it into TVs and stuff. Because of where I have to put it, I have this habit of almost kicking it over. In fact, I think I did a couple of times. So instead, I've put that in this box and I purchased this cable, which is like a miniature dock. It's handy for like if you've got little space in your room. That side, you yeah, plug into the bottom of the switch. So basically, you put in the adapter slot. As you can see from my catch card, a USB device, you plug that side into your TV because <laughs> that gets plugged into my laptop Oops. <laughs> and you have on the end here you got a bit for your controllers so that's where my controller goes and the power adapter really useful for saving space again especially in my case with the constantly near on knocking over because <laughs> one of the times I did knock over the dock it actually had the switch in it and I'm surprised I didn't damage it <laughs> so I that was basically necessary so, yeah, apologies that most of the purchases are video game related, or video console in this case, but, yeah. That's really all I did, but hey, I got my stickers! <laughs> Granted, they're still technically video game related, but I got my stickers. And hopefully, in a future episode, if I remember, when I download patterns, I will actually you know, show some of the cover thingies so you can see what the patterns are properly, even if it's just a quick slideshow, you know, that these are the purchases. I think I did that in a previous video, just a quick purchase slideshow. <laughs> so, sometimes it's easier just doing it that way, 
because, you know, again, I might not always have them on hand. Anyway, I'm going to stop looking around the room as if I'm lost. <laughs> or lost anything. And I'm going to sign off for now. And, yeah, until next time.